You want to tell us what it's like uh, bowling at the Basin Reserve? Well, it's nice if you're bowling downwind, of course, but um, some, somebody has to bowl into the wind, and it is difficult on, on, for two reasons. One, that uh, if the wind is uh, howling and, and it's consistently blowing all the time, you've got to push into that. But I think the worst one's probably when the wind is sort of up and down. So some stages you're running in with no wind, and the next sort of things you're running in into the wind. And so you've, somehow you've got to uh, organise yourself so you can get into a, a bit of a rhythm, but it's still, uh, it's still very difficult. So you spent many years bowling here, both for Wellington and for New Zealand. Um, were you predominantly bowling into the wind? No, I didn't really. I used to open into the wind most of the time because we had Richard at the other end of the course. But I mean, I only used to bowl about four, maybe five overs, and then I'd come on at the other end after him. Because generally we had other bowlers like Lance Kens or, or uh, Stewie Gillespie or Martin Sneddon that were more into wind bowlers than I were that came on after me. So tell us, uh, you know, what do our bowlers have to do, what do they have to concentrate on uh, in this test match to, to take 20 wickets? And, uh... Well, I think they've just got to bowl uh, line, line and length as, as, as a normal uh, bowler does. Uh, maybe if there's, you know, especially if there's nothing in the wicket, if there's something in the wicket then that's okay. And maybe because we've got some swing bowlers and they may be able to uh, swing the ball, but it needs to be a little bit warmer than it is today, for instance. Um, but um, yeah, just bowl a line and let them try and make, maybe ball them out because the Australians, as uh, they like to go play their shots, which they can do in wickets in Australia, but uh, they may find it a little bit different in New Zealand. Just how tough is it bowling into that into that wind, and how tough is it coping with the, the variable conditions that that uh, there are in the basin? Yeah, it, it is, it's not easy, and I mean, m most of these guys now would have played at the basin um, over the period of time in first-class cricket or in, in test matches, and so. They'll know who they are that's got to bowl into it. They may have practiced this week uh, bowling in. I see they're having open wicket practices, so they would have bowled into the wind um, just to get used to uh, you know, what they're going to experience during the test match. And uh, what are your key tips uh, for the bowling unit? Well, I think they've just got a bowl in unit, you know, uh, bowl for each other. Um, I mean, the, the, the bowl guy that's got to bowl into the wind, obviously, he's got to restrict the... the, the uh, the runs as much as he can. I mean, it's not going to be easy, and so that they're able to attack at the uh, downwind end.